Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode what I would like to do is take you on a quick tour of the Ocean Monument now it's been emptied out and I'll just go through some of the things I did in the rooms as I was going through and I think you saw the stack of sponges I got last time which have all been I used most of those for when I was drying this out. So anyway let's start. So this was the room with the um the Guardian in, the Elder Guardian, the last of the three Elder Guardians, and I cleared out two of these corners. In fact, I filled one in, and I left this one down here, so we can just trundle down here and have a look. So this was the, I think this was the sponge room, so it's only got entrances at the sides, and then we can go down here. That's a fairly straightforward to clear out. Two sponges was enough to do that one. And the same down here, this was no sponge room, just, it was just a room. And then this takes us into the, this is actually the treasure, I haven't built the ladders down here. This was the, and I haven't even opened it. We can have a look at that. And this, and this again is not yet, yet more rooms. There are lots and lots of rooms in here, all sorts of hidden. And these ones are actually, this one's not too difficult to do, but some of them are really difficult to empty out. And this one here is the main entrance. As you can see, there's a guardian just there waiting to having a look at me. <laughs> but that's the main entrance to the to the monument. So that's what that's all about. <laughs> How he can get his tail through the bricks, I don't know. And then we get trundled down through here, and this is just these rooms. Some of these rooms are really awkward to clean. These ones aren't because they've got no really obstacles, just a few pillars in. So we can actually go up again. Have a look up here. You can just wander around. There's lots and lots of places to wander around in. So this is again is the chamber. Oh, I've been here already, haven't I? <laughs> Let's go back again. Let's go into it. We can go down through here. You see, I put a I put some some wool in the way to let me know that, that the wool's there. And this is the treasure. I haven't opened it up yet. But it's basically got blocks of gold in here, as you can see. There should be eight blocks of gold in. Might as well take those, and we'll fill it in again with these four dark prismarines. Like that. In fact, <clears throat> might be about not a bad idea because this could be more. No, no, there aren't mobs. No mobs will spawn in the in the in the ocean monument itself. And this is a, an awkward room and lots of lots of holes in it. And now what this led me down to was one of the the, the rooms where the where the mobs were, uh, the elder guardians were. So they go through here like this. Then we have to go up here. So if I get up like this. Now this was the this is where I should have come out somewhere in this entrance, and in fact I came out over here somewhere. That's one of my little nice little mistakes I made. So this room is a it's a really difficult one to clear out because you can see it's got a lot of water area, and basically I just ended up spamming the stuff in. So this is the room you can see here where the the second of the old no it was this was the first of the elder guardians was wasn't it? Like that, so he's got pillars. So he can, he was hiding, I think he was hiding in here some of the time. I did have a lot of difficulty getting him. Whereas the, the next one, which is down round, you can see if you look on the mini map, we go right round the building here at this level. And these are these aren't too difficult to clear out. You just put a couple of doors in a block, and then you can sponge a bit across and carry on. But of course, you have the risk of getting cold, as you can see. I'm getting cold now. And I haven't brought anything with me to keep me warm. I'd have to run back again. There's plenty of space to run. You can sprint down here and keep a bit warmer. Might not be a bad idea anyway. So this was the this was the second one, and the guardian was just here. So this was the one I got. I came out in the wrong place, wasn't it? Anyway, I put it back again. And he could have been down. He could have been in here, but in fact he was in this room. He was just here, wasn't he? And we could easily grind him. So this is actually a very straightforward room to deal with you, do, you might have to watch that he doesn't go around the back there and you can put doors across this wall here fairly straightforwardly i think you can put doors against both walls but when i did it i was doing it wrong so that was that one and then i noticed we're back here and then we can just go straight up here there's, there's lots of little rooms and we're back to to the room where i got all the sponges so that's it so the next idea of this, you can see it's midwinter. In fact, as you can tell by the 
my temperature. Let's have a look. I haven't got it on, have I? Oops, try again. Oh, of course I stopped the game, didn't I? To actually do a backup before I started. So it says seasons minus four. As we go up here, the season will actually <laughs> get very cold very quickly. If I get across there. See, the season is now minus seven. So we've just gone past actually the mid midwinter. So let's go down here. So we can actually sleep because normally I can't sleep here because it is night time. It says mobs are about. Ah, oh, that's that. okay. No mobs around at the moment. As you can see, my temperature would actually go down to minus five. So it's a bit too cold. So I better get out of the way, get warmed up, and then we'll rush back home. Temperature is it now? Okay. All right. I'll see you in a short while when I'm when I'm coming back home. Right, back home again. So we're gonna have a look at the bees first thing, <laughs> as usual. See how we're doing with this. Uh, making any progress whatsoever? Um, I I don't think I've made any progress yet. We'll see. What I'm planning to do next with the ocean monument is to. Um, basically drain out all the water from it from the top of it anyway so that's going to take a while and that's what all those holes are for uh, i haven't got my uh, analyzer with me let's just take these out of there and we'll go and analyze those and come back in a second i think that the analyzer's back in the chest where i should have put it hopefully i have it done yes good so analyzing these three bees let's have a look at these first of all let's Put the printers there and then the analyzer got six charges should be enough for this round i'll get some more charges no problem so we've got another for a meadows forest here and a ah now we've got a common so this one has actually got the first traits of common in it and this one is again a meadows for a forest meadow so what i'm going to do is breed this forest meadows with a pure meadows Let's see if we get a chance of that's the wrong place a chance of something better now if I actually got a pure princess so what I wouldn't do is I wouldn't go I'd start again because you're unlikely to get a, a, a second version of this so that's it so that's it's taken now what three generations I think maybe four generations to actually do this to get the first of the common princesses this lot I guess which Oh, I've got three. Yes, I was just in, just lucky about that one. You notice that there was no honeycomb in the apiary. You don't hardly get any honeycomb from apiaries. Bee houses give you more. So let's have a look at these three. So that's pure forest. That's a pure meadows. And that's a pure forest again. <laughs> so I'm going to give up with this lot because they ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing <laughs> at all. So what I'm going to do with these two now is I'm going to see after six generations or whatever we still haven't got any sign of common now the chances of common let's have a look at the chances of common before we start doing anything else and look at what we can do with sponges um, let's have a look. so we look at the recipe for these it's a 15% chance which basically means every six I think around about every six we'd get a common something or other well we've done six we haven't got any signs of it at all now as with the apiary here we've already got we've already got one after three or four so I reckon that the bee house isn't doing it well, I'll tell you what let's just do one more of these let's see if it actually does give it a sec give it a last chance and see if it actually does work remember that's pure and that's pure so it'll be all right yeah, it says six generations in captivity, so there you are. So that's the end of bees for today. Let's put this one back. I don't know why I don't get my toughness back again as it happens. Um, and I'll put it in the right place. In fact, I need to put some honey in it, don't I? Let's shift it in there. See, I've got my prospectus pick doesn't belong in there, never mind that stuff does that's my i actually tell you what i was doing with this lot i was using it to um go when i was going on a mining ex expeditions i did go and do one recently and that was to go over to the um 
and get some more gold. I needed some more gold. I think I've got enough gold now. I've got uh, 694 in there plus two stacks. I think I did two stacks of, no, a stack of ordinary. So I've got two stacks of gold. So that's looking a bit healthier. So now today's episode, what I'd like to do is to set up the um, apiary, wasn't I? Uh, no, the alvary. Well, let's get on started with that one. Yeah, I've done nine minutes. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just build another carpenter and another um, squeezer. I'll see you in a few seconds when they're built. Right, I've got the carpenter and the, um, that's the carpenter and the squeezer. I need to put the squeezer down. First of all, I would like to automate the, the, this again. So just in case you haven't seen me do this before I'll just do it one last time so here's got the engineer ropes hammer when I press shift on this side here it'll show me the outputs so the opposite side's got no connection we want that to be an output and let's take the shift off and the front face wants to be an input because we're going to squeeze into the carpenter honey so let's do that next job we we'll put down the squeezer here so just connect it up one connector there. I did put it right in front in the middle of this pillar here so it would actually be accessible from both sides. I think that was a good idea. If not, I can always go bring, bring the cable across. There's just a mass of cables around here like that. So they've now got power. Um, and I just need to put a lever on this on here and then we can turn it on. And then any fluid will come straight out and go into there. So let's go and get some honey and honeydew. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. It's going to be a, a lot. So we'll, I'll get five stacks of something to start with. Let's get five stacks of honeydew. Actually six stacks. We can do six stacks, can't we? The six stack is the one that can go straight into the machine and the other five stack, unless I'm wrong. Oh no, squeezer I think takes ten, doesn't it? Uh, it takes nine a good thing I've got any more there yes I have good so that's going to get squeezed across and that honey is going to end up in here like this so we've got 300 so I reckon is it going up by 100 per that's going up 100 milli buckets per so 10 will give me one bucket's worth that's okay now we need <laughs> a lot because what we need to do next is to make the um oh I need a yeah and the carpenter's fine I've got the carpenter well, that's what I needed isn't it we need a lot of everything, basically. <laughs> so let's get out of here. Uh, have I got any space? Let's just sort that a bit. I need three stack, uh, three and a half stacks of this stuff and about the same for pollen clusters. So we'll take those out of there. And I think we need quite a lot of beeswax. So I'm not sure, I'll have to quickly check the recipe. Let's have a look at the recipe. So this is what we're going to be doing. So we need impregnated casings, which are being made. So we need, yes, we need lots of wood planks and, lo and lots of wood. Okay, I think I can remember. I've got actually, quite, I've got quite a lot of uh, beeswax. I haven't been getting so much recently because I've been using the other stuff. So we've got 512 in here. Let's just take a few stacks of this out of here. Empty that one out. And let's go and put that into the carpenter ready for the, making these scented, Paneling, I think they're called, aren't they? So we need it's a beeswax here and a beeswax here. The rest of that into that. Then we need a pollen cluster in the middle, I think. And then we need some royal jelly at the top. And then we need put those into that like that. And we need lots of planks. Let's shift that one into that. So we need lots of planks of wood, three per paneling. And we need to need eight paneling for each. That's two stacks, three stacks. That's going to give me a stack of these things, which is going to make eight. And I need 27. So I've got a lot more to bear, a lot more planks to make than this. So let's, let's get it done anyway. Oh, hold on a second. I've miscalculated as usual. Let's put those into that. So if I'm not mistaken, we just do it like that. And then we get the sanded paneling. So we can shift click all of those into that not quite and then that's going to be come filling it with honey I don't know how much honey it uses per thing let's have a look at the recipe for this one you should share me recipes 
take it out here. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. So it uses 500 millibuckets. So I've got to do five pieces of uh, honey, honeydew per thing. So it's going to take a long time to get this stuff prepared. But what I will do is I'll wait till we've got the first one of these. It always takes us the items that, unfortunately, from the from the front. <laughs> so you always end up with a. If I do it like this, it might be more sensible. And it would use it up that way round, wouldn't it? So we'll make the first one of these. And while that's doing that, let's get some more honey and put some more honey into that. So we've got five stacks space. Which will give me a stack of 64 buckets. Six, no, it'll give me 64, won't it? So let's take five of these out of here. Where's the fifth one? One, two, three, four. Can't see five. Put those into the squeeze and let it squeeze away. And this one of these things, like all of them, all of the forestry stuff, is just just a game of patience, really. It's as simple as that. Okay, four stacks. I could put a, a socket in here and make it go faster. Actually, I probably should do that, shouldn't we? Have we got R eight? So we can actually make the first one of these machines. Now I've got somewhere, and I think it's actually here, 27 impregnated casings, perfect. So that's the 27 we need for the first alvary. So we can actually then go and craft this stuff up. Put that in the middle and then surround the spice scented panel link. We have our first alvary block. Like that. Anyway, I think I'm going to not not call it a day. I'm just going to go and make the rest of these notes. I don't want to throw it away, do I? Uh, and I'll come back when I've done all of that stuff. So I'll see you then. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this today. <laughs> I still need another 20, well, basically 30 times 5 um, honey. And I've not got it and I've been around trying to get some everywhere I've thought of all the hives and still not going to get it so what I have to do is do the wait and it's going to take quite a long time because I've already been doing this for about an hour or so gathering as much honey as I possibly could but in the meantime I would like to do what I was going to do is make a toolkit I think I'm going to make a gold toolkit so I just need a block of gold what did I that block of gold oh I'm sure I made a block of gold just a second ago Oh, I know what it is. This is my backpack. Oh, I've got some parched cone as well. I was doing that from the... I went to every hive. I was going to put this away. I think... The other next... What's it? Did I say 30 times 5? 300 or so. Honey is going to take a while to do. I was actually surprised. I didn't expect this to take as long as the others. We've got some... Sim I went negotiating with and trading with some... Um, did I do on trade carrots and wheat and potatoes with a villager? Got some hut, some combs from him. So let's make this. Because what I've been noticing, I haven't really been getting that much good stuff from when I've been using my um, shuriken. So I'm going to add another modifier to it. So we're going to add one of these. And then we're going to add as much lapis as we can. I don't actually have much lapis. I'm going to have to go mining for some lapis, I think. Let's trundle off into here. Oh full of stone and I think all my tools are repaired from last time so except for this one we can do this one so let's put in the shuriken into here and another gold modifier and that'll give me one more modifier which I'm going to put onto this uh, lapis so that's what it's going to tell me about it luck Sick luck one. I think Yeah we can do we need we can get it up to luck two. But I need another eight lapis. I'm gonna get another eight lapis. So we don't need multiple modifiers for luck, which is actually good. <laughs> I 
as you see, my lapis is going down a lot. I've, I've just mined up all of the all of the stuff I've already got, so I suppose we should get luck two out of this now. Yep, yeah, luck two. And the next one up would be 180 for the lapis. I think it's another 180, so you've got to go and get a lot of lapis. Could go and test it out. Because what I've been doing is when I've been going through the nether, once in a while there's a, a gas there and was, he's not been dropping any tears. So I was thinking, I'd better go and have a look and see what we can get. And last time I went and over here I'd got about, ooh, hold on a second, before I go and do that, have I got any water with me? No, I'd better go and get some water. I just not if there's any, any water will do. We'll fill up a few, oops, we'll fill up a few of these. That's about eight, isn't it? I'll drink a few out of these. I know they're going to give me poison, but... It doesn't matter very much. Really can let's go and test this shuriken. Oh, and the other thing I probably should have done let's have a look at those bees for the last time today. There's plenty of, plenty of mobs around here to test it on. And we're in a safe position. Let's just do it like this. So we can get one of them. There we go. Coming from here. Should be some more worse than the other one. Alright, that's a lot. Let's go and pick it up, see what we get for rewards this time. Because <laughs> last time I got virtually one sword and one. Did I get one sword and one um, nugget of gold? Which I didn't think was very good. So I've got six nuggets of gold, gold now and a sword, and 11 rotting flesh. I think that's probably an improvement. So hopefully that'll do. So when the gas comes next time, and you can see him on the minimap, is bright white. You can see him no problem whatsoever when I'm coming in through there. So that's it. I think I can't do any more of what I wanted to do today. But we could go and have a look at the alcohol and see how that's getting along again. Or... Let's just sort my inventory out. I've got all that stone which I took from that table. Let's go and put this back again because I need to repair my tools relatively often when I've been out doing something. I'll put them in the middle and do it like that. I need them to the right slots. If I can get out of the door, of course. Now, the alcohol is doing very well, in fact. It's quite a lot has improved over the last time. I don't do this one because. That was 5.9 and this was 0 0.6, so that went up a little bit. Uh, I think that's what I got the, these, the um, water bottles for. I wanted to do another one. Uh, get that going. So all of these now... Oops, wrong one. So all of these now are... Well, this one anyway, is drinkable without getting too bad. And this one's 0 0.7, 0 0.7. So that's also drinkable, but not very useful. Well, no improvement, I mean, really. Let's just do another one of those. 0.7 is a good one, that's already at 1, so don't worry about that. That's 0.42 and this is 0.42. Again, that's a rotten one, we'll just get rid of that. Um, get the bucket again and get it going again. Put the bucket in, put one glass jar into there, because the bucket's going to... I don't want the bucket with me, I just want to keep the bucket in there as a place to store it. This one, we've got 0 0.84, 0 0.83, that's good. So the wine brick... The wild producer is doing very well indeed. Let's just take one of these out of here. Let's just, uh, I need to craft that off, so we'll do that in a second. I hope you don't mind me doing this with you, by the way. And the last one is cider. So 0 0.59, 0 0.455, that's a good increase. And we can drink that as well, of course. I forgot what side it does, we can test it in a second. Apple juice. So the one I wanted to get rid of was the bottle of ale. So the only thing I've actually got that's rubbish at the moment is ale, I think. 0 0.42. So cider, let's see what that does. 0.55. Well, no effect am I getting magic resistance? 56 seconds, inebriated for seven minutes, which is pretty good. The toughness is still there from the, the milk. It's not show, oh, it's now showing up, so I have to drink another potion for that to show up. Oh, brilliant, huh? 
In fact, let's just sort the inventory and put these bottles back where they belong. And go in there, I think, for the time being. And the bees do did their next generation, but I'll leave that for the next episode, I think. So we'll do it one per episode, no more than that. So that's it for today, uh, from a very inebriated but, uh, man. If I, if I press shift, by the way, you'll see the glasses change. <laughs> I noticed that when I was doing that. I didn't realise it had changed. So my light must disappear when I'm pressing shift. Anyway, until next time, when hopefully we can finish the L3. I didn't realise it was going to use so much honey. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye for now.